This video talks about the Radon Nicodym derivative. The instruction assumes that you already understand the concept of risk neutral versus physical probability measure. Now, simplistically speaking, the Radon Nicodym derivative measures the distance between the risk neutral pricing measure Q and the empirical probability measure P. The distance between the objective probability of an event and the probability with which that event is priced into financial assets depends only on the risk premium that is associated with that event. Now, a good way to see that is to start with the pricing equation. So let X capital T be the random payoff at time capital T of some asset. Its net present value can be determined using the stochastic discount factor as the discount rate and the physical probability measure or by using the risk-free rate as the discount rate together with the risk neutral probability measure. Mathematically, that means the following. Now let's rewrite the expectation operator as an integral. We hence end up with the following expression where we integrate across all possible events or states of the world and we weight these with the respective probability. Now the last equation holds state by state. Hence we can isolate the next relationship, which says that the priced in probability of an event, little w, that little w, that happens in cap t divided by the actual probability of that event to happen in T equals an exponential martingale in the risk premiums. Now the left hand side stands for that so-called Radon Nicodym derivative. It measures the statistical distance between the priced in probability of an event and the actual probability in data. You might wonder why should a priced in probability differ from the actual probability in data? The answer is because of risk premia. So some states of the world are really painful for the representative investor, even if they have a low probability of occurring. Now, these might be states of market crashes, spikes in market volatility, times of liquidity dry ups, or whatever characterizes states of high marginal utility. Now, these painful states are overweighted in the pricing function relative to their actual probability of occurring. But that overweighting is rational and not the result of a behavioral bias because risk averse yet rational investors demand a risk premium for risk that they cannot diversify. 